Hello, original affiliates. Um, once again, thank you for joining us for today's webinar. Um, I am Bertine Cortez. Again, a lot of you already know me. Um, those of you that don't know me, again, I always say this. I hope um, we do get to meet um, pretty soon. Joining me is Alex. Um, Alex, I don't know if you want to say hello to everybody so that we can get started. Hi, guys. Thank you, Olga, for, for joining. Uh, yeah, I'm here backstage. I'll be taking care of the, of the chat and the Q&A. So any question that you may have, just write it down and we'll try to, to answer it um, after the webinar. Thank you, Alex. So as Alex mentioned, um, feel free to write anything, um, any comments, questions, concerns, suggestions in the chat box, or um, also use our Q&A section to inquire um, of any particular things. He's going to um, be replying to your questions as we go along with the presentation. Um, and any questions that um, were not addressed, we'll get to them at the end of the presentation. So again, thank you everybody for today. We're gonna mix it up a little bit. Normally, um, the first webinar of our affiliate program is an introduction to what the affiliate program is and the benefits. Today, we're gonna focus on four things. One is our grand opening of our um, brand new resource in the Dominican Republic. Two, we're going to focus on an e-flyer that we have shared with you guys. And three, we've made some slight adjustments to our reservation slash cancellation policy to be able to be more competitive when it comes to other um, sales channels. And fourth, we're going to get into the commission and rewards campaigns that will be coming up um, soon. So again, um, we're going to go ahead and get started now with our webinar. As I've mentioned, Temptation Resorts is crossing borders. If you haven't yet, be sure to visit our official website at temptation-experience.com. You'll be able to find detailed information regarding both Temptation Meaches Resort Temptation Grand Meaches Resort, and obviously Temptation Cancun Resort. So where exactly are we going to in the Dominican Republic? We're going to a sanctuary called Meaches, a place that is very limited with um, locals. So it's a, a growing area, sort of. For those of you that are familiar with this region is if we were looking at Tulum perhaps 20 years ago. So we'll have Temptation Grand Meaches Resort and Temptation Meaches Resort. Keep in mind that Temptation Grand Meaches Resort is our couples only resort um, at this destination. Here's a map of the Dominican Republic to point out exactly where um, we're located. The airport or the main airport that everybody flies into is Punta Cana's airport, which is the one closest to um, Miches. So you'll be driving or you'll be taking the transportation northwest of what Punta Cana would be, and it's um, about an hour and a half um, drive. And um, both resorts are right next to um, each other. So whether you're going to Temptation Miches Resort or Temptation Grand Miches Resort, um, you'll be able to take the same transportation. So again, we're having 
or we're gonna have all new adults only all inclusive playground which is at temptation Miches resort and obviously our all new couples only um all inclusive playground at temptation grand Miches resort our grand opening is october 1st 2022 we've been putting this out for many months now and we're still um opening our doors on october 1st we are pretty much booked um for a lot of those days so the first image that i showed you was what um Miches, um used to look like as i mentioned um it's about an hour and a half drive 100 kilometers or 62 miles depending on how you want to uh, look at it but first we'll have obviously temptation um grand Miches resort the entrance to both of um the resorts would be the same but they obviously have their separate lobbies and this aerial points out to um, the lobbies of each one of our resorts. So on the right, you have Temptation Miches um, Resort. On here, um, it is a render um, because it's a complete information, but there's also gonna be a bar, um, which is called uh, A&D's bar, and it will be located um, between both resorts to be able to provide um, like um, beverages for those guests that do um, wander off onto the beach. Now, what I have in front of you are brand new images that we're going to send out today, but I wanted to take advantage that of the fact that I have this forum right now. So these are actual images of what Temptation Meaches Resort um, looks like. On the left side, we have an image of our sexy pool. So we're very much enchanted on opening October 1st. And on the right side, we have what is the swim up um, rooms at Temptation um, Meaches Resort. Again, we'll also be sharing um, these e-flyers with you so that you can resend them to your database, your newsletter subscribers, or you can post it um, online if that's um, where you get most of your clients from. Now for those affiliates that have just joined our program, right now I'm gonna play a, a video for you that pretty much details who our temptation um, guest is. So I hope that you find it um, very interesting and insightful.
again, um, I hope that you enjoyed that video and found it um, useful. We have a consumer version of that video that we can share with you guys as well. If you want to post it on your social media accounts or you know, perhaps in one of your blogs. Now we're going to get into the e-flyer that we've shared with you twice already. We sent it um, last week and we sent it um, today as well. The idea of us creating um, digital material more than just um, banners is all with the intent of helping you, our original affiliate, facilitate um, the sale and a great converter. And this is what I tell all of my affiliates are newsletters, um, regardless of how many contacts you have in your database, you do want to be reaching out to them um, frequently and letting them know what you have available um, for them to book. So we sent out um, this e-flyer. We left um, out a blank space where you can include your certified partner badge. You can include um, your contact information and you can also include your logo in the white space. The way that it will look like after you've edited all of that out is um, just as we view this on the screen. That will allow you to just forward um, this e-flyer to, again, your database, um, your followers, your readers, your subscribers, anybody that you can get um, a hold of. Now, how exactly it is that you can edit it to include your certified partner badge, your contact information, and your logo, this is what this webinar is for. The way to do it, um, one of the, uh, or at least one of the easiest ways we found to do it is um, in PowerPoint. You can also do it um, on Paint. For those of you um, that are better at it um, with Paint, but you simply, you open up your PowerPoint and you insert um, the Miches image and you also insert your certified partner um, logo. For that, you must go to the top of um, this, the menu bar and select the insert option. And then you will select um, the pictures of, um, to upload them. And you're gonna select it from this device, meaning that you have the e-flyer saved on one of um, your folders or perhaps on um, your desktop, but it will upload it from um, your computer. And once you do that, then the email, um, or excuse me, the e-flyer that we sent you um, will include your certified partner badge by uploading it um, again through the insert option, going on um, to pictures and this device. Obviously, you'll have to have the certified partner badge saved on um, your computer as well. Then you will insert um, a text box, which will allow you, um, again, to include your contact information. So you would select it um, from this option where it reads um, text box, and then you would pretty much set it up in this section, right in the center of um, the e-flyer. And once again, then you can just upload also um, your, your logo. But once you've inserted um, your contact information, this is the second step, or this is what it will look like. We obviously um, recommend that you do include your name, um, that you're one of our affiliates, and obviously, um, 
in your case as an affiliate, you can include on here um, your website because we want you to build on your website, your um, blog, your podcast, um, so that that's how you drive the traffic um, through ours. And obviously, if you're up for it, you can also include your phone number. The third step is pretty much the same as the first one. When we uploaded the certified um, partner badge, you would select um, insert from the menu bar. Then you would click on pictures and select it um, from this device. And you would upload your logo company. Obviously, you will adjust this so that it fits within um, the e-flyer that we provided. After that, you select all of the images, including um, the e-flyer, and you will select a range from the shape format um, option. And on, after you select a range and the drop down menu um, displays, you will click on group. That will turn everything that it, you just did into one e flyer or one um, image. So after that, it will look like this, but you won't, you will not be able to select each one of the inserts that you included um, after you do that. Then you would obviously um, right click on it and you would save it as a picture um, on your desktop or again on um, any um, folder that perhaps you have for the promotion that you do for our resorts um, and cruises. Once you've done all of that, then it's time to get the flyer out and send it to all of my clients. The way you do this is that, again, you would open up um, the flyer in the folder that um, you stored it in, and you will select copy. Now, my menu is in Spanish because we are um, in Cancun, um, enjoying the nice weather here, when we would wish that all of you would come down here. Um, and visit us. So that's why it's in Spanish, but you would select the copy option and then you would paste it on the email um, that you're going to send out. Now, it's very important that you paste it as an e-flyer or image and not an attachment. And we're going to get to the reason why um, it has to be done that way. Now, we also recommend, suggest, and um, ask that you do put a catchy um, subject on the e-flyer, obviously having to do with our brand um, or yours to get um, your subscribers or um, readers to open up on the email and actually um, take advantage of the offer that you're displaying for them. So again, you post it or you paste it as an image or e-flyer image directly on the body of the email. If you want, you can type a message, um, but I would recommend just sending the e-flyer out as is. Um, now, once you've done that, you will select um, the image and you will click on this option, which will allow you to insert um, your affiliate link to that e-flyer. So no matter on what section, um, I went um, too fast, for what section um, your client clicks on it, it will take them to the Temptation Miches Resort um, site via your affiliate um, link. So now, 
when you click on the insert um link then you have to find your affiliate link and for this example again we're using temptation Meach's resort so you would sign in to your affiliate account you would click on the banner section from the menu which is located on the left hand side of the screen and you will go to the offers um, section now you can also find it through um, your product section um, so either or will work now the difference is that in offer section as I always um, let you guys know is where you find the special promo code banners when we do have them available for um, any particular product under the product section you find all of our banners but they're generic they do have a call to action and a special offer um, message but they don't have a unique um, promo code so in this case you can filter um, by selecting temptation meets resort and that will obviously reduce the number of banners that um, you view now we're visiting this section for your affiliate link not for the banner so then you will have to copy your affiliate link which is already highlighted um in green but you must um leave out the quotation marks so it pretty much starts with https and ends with the dot php so that link you want to copy and you want to post it or paste it um in the insert link option that was displayed once you've inserted it click on ok and that will embed your affiliate link to the e-flyer once you've done that if you did it accordingly once when you hover over the affiliate link I'm sorry, excuse me, for the e-flyer, your affiliate link will be displayed. And in green, you will notice in this case that it does include my unique affiliate ID. So whoever I send this e-flyer to and clicks on it and books a reservation for Temptation Meach's Resort, I'm gonna get credit for it. So again, it's a great way to monetize your newsletter or any database that um you have um available to you this is the final version after you've included your certified partner badge your contact information your company logo and you've embedded your affiliate link again when somebody clicks on the e-flyer it will take them directly to our Temptation Meach's Resort website. And again, we highlight that our grand opening will take place on October 1st, 2022, which is 15 days away. We're very excited, very hyped up, very enthused, and just happy all around to be able to take our concepts to a brand new destination and have a grand opening like the one um that we're gonna have so again once your client um lands on our website your affiliate link turns into the temptation dash experience domain but you will view that it does have your affiliate link and uh, um excuse me your affiliate id embedded in it now once the guest starts navigating um throughout the website for aesthetical purposes um the affiliate um id hides itself so don't do not be alarmed and you're always um free to do a test booking just select the offline payment and make sure to exclude the travel protection and obviously um type on their last name special request that it, it's a test booking so that um we can cancel it that will also um let you know if any link that you have posted um through your throughout your digital platforms um is functioning as well
Now, the third thing that we're going to get into, as I mentioned, we made slight um, adjustments to our cancellation policy. So we do have new cancellation policies. We're going to get started with Temptation Cancun Resort. We're still going to keep in place the one night deposit for booking a reservation and that reservations must be paid 14 days prior to the arrival. Now, during our premium period, which is from December 26th through January um, 1st, any cancellation um, within seven days and no shows are non-refundable. From the period of January 2nd through December um, 25th, can, guests can cancel up to 48 hours prior to their arrival um, and they will only be penalized with one night versus um, the full stay. Again, and any cancellation out of that range obviously will incur in a $40 um, processing fee, which um, we've had. Early checkouts um, or unused nights are non-refundable. And as I mentioned, um, the travel protection, if the guest purchased it, um, it will be um, deducted from um, the refund. These new cancellation policies have been uploaded to our website um, as well. So they're, they're visible for you and um, for your clients. I invite you to um, visit um, our website and again, be up to date with what we're offering because that's one of your other tools that you have to be able to convert those clients into reservations. Here are the changes for um, Temptation Meaches Resort and Temptation Grand um, Meaches Resort. We've changed um, the rule from a four day um, notice to be able to cancel to all cancellations out of um, the premium date range will only be um, charged the $40 processing fee. Now, from December 26th through January 1st, any reservation that is canceled um, less than seven days prior to um, the arrival is a no refund um, penalty. And all of cancellations outside of that period, um, guests have again 48 hours um, to cancel and they will only be charged um, one night. For me, chess guests can cancel 15 days prior um, to their arrival <clears throat> and a processing fee of $80 um, will be charged. Now, during the premium um, period, guests will be um, penalized with two nights. If they um, cancel 15 to one days um, prior to their arrival. Um, now, no shows or unused nights, again, um, it, they, will be, they will not be refunded. These are the cancellation policies that we've updated for our desire um, resorts. Guests um, have to pay um, one night deposit and they can cancel again 30 days um, prior to their arrival. Cancellations um, with 15 days um, or more prior to the arrival will only incur um, in an $80 um, processing fee. Cancellations during the premium week of um, January 2nd, or excuse me, December 25th through January um, 2nd, um, will be charged for two nights if um, they cancel 15 to one days prior um, to their arrival. If they cancel 30 to one days um, prior to their arrival, um, excuse me, I think I have these, um, um, upside down. Um, the uh, this one will be um, non-refundable, and this would be the two-night 
on penalty charge. Now, the fourth thing that we're going to get into is our 2022 closeout commission campaign. To close out 2022, we're going to be paying out 22% commission on all bookings throughout all of our resorts. Now, for Temptation Cancun Resort, for Temptation Meaches Resort, and Temptation Grand Meaches Resort, guests um, must book between September 16th and November um, 30th. And they can travel when it comes to Temptation Cancun Resort between October 2022nd and March 2023rd. That will earn you 22% commission on any booking that you generate for a Temptation Cancun Resort. When it comes to Temptation Meaches Resort, your guests can travel between October 4th, 2022 and March 23. Now, when it comes to Temptation Grand Meaches Resort, your guests can travel between January and March 2023. That is what will earn you 22% um, for the sales that you generate. When it comes to our Desire Resorts, both Desire Riviera Maya and Desire Pearl will be paying out 22% commission on all bookings, again, that are booked from September 16th through November um, 30th. And your guests can travel from December 2022 through March 2023. Now, if that it wasn't enough, I also want to remind you that as, as original affiliates, you are entitled to reporting your booking on Temptation and Desire Rewards. If you haven't signed up, be sure to visit Temptation Rewards or Desire um, Rewards and sign up um, for one of the programs. Once you signed up for the other one, you can just join. Um, Let's say, for example, you sign up for Temptation Rewards. You won't have to sign up and fill out a form to join Desire Rewards. You simply look at the program and you will click um, on join. If you need assistance with that, we'll be more than glad to help you. Now, we are running an engagement campaign to get you guys to report your bookings. We see the reservations. We have the occupancy and we enjoy partying with the guests. But we also see that not all of you are taking advantage of our rewards program and you're generating sales, but you're not reporting them in the rewards program, which earns you points that you can turn into cash or redemptions um, for a complimentary stay at the resort subject to availability. So we decided to do a raffle um, we did it last year and we're doing it again this year. It will take place on December 23rd, 2022nd. And we'll be raffling three five night complimentary stays one for Temptation Cancun Resort, one for Desire Riviera Maya Resort, and one for Desire Riviera Maya Pearl um, Resort. Every agent that reports a booking, um, for any specific program will be included in the raffle for that resort. For example, if your booking was for Desire Riviera Maya Resort, you'll be included in that raffle, but not for the Temptation or the Pearl um, raffle. If you have bookings in all three resorts, then obviously you'll be included in all three um, raffles. Now, the more reservations that you report, the more times you will be entered into the raffle. Per se, we're going to give you an e-ticket. So if you have 10 bookings for one resort, that means that your name will be entered 10 times um, in the raffle, which increases the chances of um, 
you being the winner of um, that raffle. So again, the stays have to be between January 2022 and December 2022. If you have bookings for 2023, unfortunately, they do not apply um, for this raffle. And obviously, this raffle it can be combined with any um, special campaign that we have, like a double your points or extra points um, for bookings. For example, we're offering double um, your website, excuse me, double your points on both Temptation Cancun Resort and the both um, Temptation Miches Resort and Temptation Grand Miches Resort. Again, your guests can book between September 16, 2022 and November 30th, 2022 and travel when it comes to Temptation Cancun Resort from October 2022 through March 2023. When it comes to um, Temptation Miches Resort, your guests can travel between October 4th through March 2023. And when it comes to Temptation Grand Miches Resort, your guests can travel from January through March 2023. Those are the travel days um, in order for you to be able to earn double your points um, on reservations that you're reporting. Now, when it comes to Desire um, Resorts, we're offering 10 extra points for the same booking period, September 16th, through November 30th, 2022. And we're paying 10 extra points on for each resort or each booking that you can generate. Your guests, again, can travel from December 2022nd through March 31st, 2023. Now, for those of you that are new to our rewards program, I must remind you that there is a three night minimum stay required in order for you to be able to report your booking. This should not be an issue as, for example, Temptation Cancun Resort, our average minimum stay is like 4.7 um, nights. When it comes to Desire, it's like 5.5. When it comes to Miches, we're pretty much at an average of six um, nights um, per booking. So again, it should not be a problem on um, this three night minimum stay requirement in order for you to be able to report your booking. Now, if you're looking for more digital content to post on your digital platforms, be sure to visit our media page, which is media.original-group.com. Again, media.original-group.com. You'll be able to find our logos, our fact sheets, photos, videos, virtual tours, different type of um, promotional banners that are generic. They have nothing to do um, per se with the affiliate um, program, but they're um, e-flyers and banners that show the guess what the concept um, is at our resource. So that's a great way um, to be able to get your clients familiar with what Temptation Cancun Resort is, what Temptation Miches Resort is, what Temptation Grand Miches Resort is, because again, that is our couples only um, Temptation um, Resort. And you can also let them know what our desired resource concept um, and partying is all like. So again, be sure to visit our media.original-group.com um, to be able to find more digital content. The e-flyer that I went over with, those are e-flyers that we're specifically requesting to be able to provide to you so you won't find them on this site. We'll be emailing them um, to you as we've been doing. Now, once you visit media.original-group.com, this is what our media site looks like. It does have a home, then it breaks down into each brand. On Certified Partner, you will be able to find your logo if you provided it to us and you have 
our certified partner badge uploaded um, on your website. We've sent out a couple of emails regarding this. Now, when you hover over desire or temptation, a drop down menu is displayed and then and it breaks down each product that we have under each brand. So all of that is with the intent to facilitate you being able to find exactly what you're looking for. Finally, here is our contact information. As I've um, said at the beginning of the presentation, I'm Bertine Cortez, the original affiliate sales manager. You can reach me at affiliates at original-group.com. You can also find me on Microsoft Teams, which is a lot faster for us um, by typing in the same email. And as I said, joining me is Alejandro Chan, who is our affiliates executive. His email is affiliates2 at original-group.com. You can also find him on Microsoft Teams by typing um, in his email. Before we get done, I'm going to look at the chat box and the Q&A section just to see if there are any um, outstanding questions that were perhaps um, not answered, but I think Alex did a great job. Um, I am not seeing any unreplied questions. Okay, I actually don't have the three letter um, code for the airport for Punta Cana. So that was a great question. We'll be sure to put it um, in one of our um, communiques. Um, so I will have to get back to you um, on that one. If a couple stays at Temptation Grand Miches Resort, can they walk and visit Temptation Miches Resort? Yes, they can. However, not freely. It does have to be um, arranged through our concierge at the property. They have to be specific on what day or what time um, they want to visit. So the quick answer is yes, but there are details or terms and conditions um, to that. Guests staying at Temptation Meaches Resort cannot go over to Temptation Grand Meaches um, Resort for the time being. Okay, I have a question here regarding the embedding of the link or the logo. Um, unfortunately, I'm not familiar with how you're able to do it on um, a Mac. So um, I really have to owe it to you um, regarding that. I have a question here. Is the refund still in the form of resort credit or has it changed to monetary credit to the guest credit card? Um, we have both options. Obviously, um, the first one is always to try to maintain the reservation and the guests. So we offer them um, a certain period to where they can use um, that amount, but if they're canceling within the time frames that we've provided that do not um, include um, any penalties aside from the processing fees, then yes, um, refunds are being um, refunded back to the guest's um, credit card. Okay, I'll be sure to email the website um, or the landing, better said, um, with our cancellation policies in the email that I'll be sharing you with you guys with um, the recording of this webinar so you can go um, over it again.
Okay, great question. I have um somebody who is just joining our rewards program and they're, they're inquiring about the field, asking for an IATA, CLIA, ABC, TTA, ANBR um, number. Um, on our newsletters, I've um, mentioned this, so I'm glad um, that you asked for it. Um, your affiliate ID will suffice as, per se, your IATA number. Okay, I have a question here regarding our desired resource and um, a remodeling. We'll um, be putting out information um, as soon as we have it um, in detail to obviously let everybody know of um, the expansion that Desire Pearl um, will be having. Okay, I appreciate you guys. I'm seeing that you typed in um, the three-letter code for the Punta Cana um, airport. Okay, again, to upload your logo um, to the eFlyer, um, you can insert it um, on the PowerPoint. You would have to insert, and then you'd have to select the your logo, excuse me, um, from your computer. Okay, affiliates are tracked by cookies. How do you um, report the booking on the reward site? Okay, once you've signed up for our affiliate program, you have access to a report section. And on there, you find details regarding each booking that you've had from the guest name, the resort, the confirmation number, the booking date, the travel date, the amount, etc. So it's very transparent and you can use that information um, to be able to report the booking on the rewards program. Okay, it has come up a lot. I have a question here regarding FAM opportunities. Um, I don't know if we'll be doing any FAM trips um, this year, just due to everything that we have um, going on, it's always on the table with us. We're always trying to um, obviously plan flam trips with our affiliates, our travel agents, etc. But this is something that, again, um, we have to retake further down the line. Okay, I have a question here regarding our promo codes. They don't always exclude weekends. We do have one specific promo code that is meant to um, entice bookings from Sunday through Wednesday, which is our week 20 promo code. We do have a lot of blackout days on certain promo codes. As you've noticed, we have promo codes depending on certain travel periods and sometimes were sold out or the occupancy um, is uh, off the charts and we tend to um, make some yield and revenue um, management. But for example, if you use the 2023 promo code, which is early 23, you'll be able to generate bookings for 2023 and it's open for um, most of the weekends. I, I have to say most because there are a couple or a few that are um, already on um, blacked out. Okay, I am not seeing any more um, outstanding questions. So again, um, thank you everybody for joining us um, during today's webinar. It really means a lot that you want to learn to earn. I can't coin that phrase. I got it from one of our affiliates, but I find it very um, 
motivating to say it that way. So again, thank you everybody. And I will be sending out um, the email with the recording of this webinar. Have a great weekend.